Here's a problem that exemplifies trying to use our techniques of integrals or summations. It's very common to be asked to be able to read a graph and then do calculations which involve uh, summing over the area of the graph. So the question here asks if the graph below represents the velocity as a function of time for an object traveling along a road, for example, how far did the object travel in five hours? Graph shows velocity in kilometers per hour, right here. And that's along the vertical axis. Along the horizontal axis, it shows time elapsed. And as you can see, the object is moving along initially at a smooth constant speed of 25 kilometers per hour. About two hours into its tra travel, though, it jumps up in speed. So if someone's hit the gas and now is traveling 75 kilometers per hour, and about three hours into its speed, slows down. So this might be you're traveling along in town, going out on the highway, and then traveling maybe along a major road in town, but only at a low, reduced speed of 50 kilometers per hour. So if one wants to ask how far did this thing go, it's best to take this in pieces. So the first part of the object's trip, there is a, a distance traveled. which I'll call delta x, the change in x location, which is its speed at that time times the time elapsed. And I'm putting a little subscript number one just to indicate that this is the first time period. So that's this time period right here. So during this time, the object is going 25 kilometers per hour. And this time period is two hours. So the total distance traveled is 50 kilometers. There's a second time period. It's just right there. And again, the distance traveled, delta x, is a velocity times an elapsed time. The velocity during this time is much higher, 75 kilometers per hour. But the time elapsed is only one hour. It's true that the horizontal axis is going from 2 to 3 here, but it's the delta t, the change in time or time elapsed, um, over which this velocity is 75, that matters. So in this time window, the object has traveled 75 kilometers. There's a, del a delta x number 3, and we're trying to get uh, a total estimate of how far the object has traveled up through 5 hours, or up till 5 hours. That's to get us to this last period of time right here. This is time period number three. And just following the same procedure here, the object is now going 50 kilometers per hour times a time period of two hours. I haven't made attention to it, but notice that the units do cancel here to get to the right thing. In other words, this is kilometers per hour. Kilom hours is in the denominator, kilometers is in the numerator. So this hour cancels that hour, and I'm left with just kilometers. Same up here. This is hours in the denominator, this is hours in the numerator. Those cancel, leaving only kilometers. Same there. So units do work out. I just wanted to make sure you notice that. So this last time the distance traveled is 50 times 2, which is 100 kilometers. So our total travel will be the sum
with those three individual pieces. Each piece delta x sub i is a velocity times a delta t. So I'm putting a little subscript i here to denote uh, a summation. And I'm summing over three terms because I had three terms in the sum. Notice that a, a v is a delta x over a delta t times a delta t, which is where in incremental terms we get this idea that this is equal to an integral. Because this v is like a dx dt, and we're summing over dt's. So in a differential sense, or very tiny step sense, the integral is the same thing as a sum. Well, our answer in this case, if I just sum these three pieces, because there's just three terms here, the three terms are 50 kilometers, 75 kilometers, and 100 kilometers. Our delta x works out to be Two hundred and twenty five kilometers. So most of the distance traveled actually comes in this last time window when I'm taking two hours at fifty kilometers. It's not intuitive, but it's the largest the tallest part of the graph. Although it does add some uh, mileage here, it doesn't add the most. And the longest part of the graph that maybe catches your eye doesn't add, actually add the most distance. It's this period, which also is a pretty long part along the horizontal axis and is at a moderately high speed.